Before I forget, ball joints have been fixed. Brakes, fluid flush. Um, yeah. Still got a lot to do, but today we're focusing on the lift. So stay tuned for that. Well, things have escalated pretty quick. Carrier bearings finally came in. These things are so sick. Really good detail on them, good craftsmanship. They're solid. I like how they have the real-time four-wheel drive on there. I think that's pretty cool. Then we got the camber adjustments because we're probably gonna need them. And this is gonna finish the lift kit and fix the clunk. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're gonna put these on the front. We actually have to switch because these have three and we have two. Put our top hats on here and that sucks because we have to use a spring compressor and it's just really annoying. So I'm gonna start taking everything apart so when Johnny gets home, we could just both power through this and get it together. Get this finished. I doubt it's gonna get finished today, but I'm being optimistic and uh, welcome to Wagon Wednesday vlog. Figured since this is the easiest, <laughs> get this done first. Put the new camber adjustment kit in. Just bang that out real quick. Then I'll move on to the strut. <laughs> wild noises. <laughs> All right, came out. I gotta clean these bolts up a little bit, the threads, but damage report. Pretty much smoked. I'm realizing that these bushings are shot. We're gonna have to replace those. Now I have to get the, get the strut out, the lower control arm. There's two bolts up there, so it's like a few bolts, but these are the worst. And um, I'm gonna hit it with some leverage because Johnny has the gun in his car. Oh, jeez Louise. I got the shock bolt out with the other two. I don't know. Damage report. Of course, like usual when you take out an old LCA. Um, bolt snapped inside of it. So we had to drill it out and collapse it on what side. All right, at least that's an easier one to reach. Fuck. Can we push it out when we put a new bolt through? So we have to drill it out. Drill it or break the, the the weld behind it. How? Slap the top bar back here. As long as we don't break the subframe. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, this car's this yeah, car's we just, a struggle. We just, we just... Oh, I say it's I two say... millimeters. Huh? I said high side. Two. I'm probably gonna go with like fifteen. 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 <laughs> That's a 15. Ooh. Damn you. It's a little oh. loose, but that's fine. That's for the top of the struts. We're going to go mudding after this. You're going to go with dad. You and me, dad, are going to go mudding. Yeah. Which car would you, you go in? What car would you go in? Where are you going mudding? Down in, by, in Jackson, the Collier Mill. This? It's going to be off road car. It's okay. four wheel drive. Okay. All right, I got to go to Lavodi's. I, I just wanted to stop by and say Curve my wheels. I need, I need my yeah, life fixed. Stop. <laughs> No. Come on, don't you have something in here, a little paint? <laughs> no. You don't have any paint? Not for that. Oh, Can I just try a black magic marker? Do you have any no, no, we're not going to. We do no. not do that at this garage. Come on. <laughs> Al, you're a jerk, and I know there's a way. Please do not take a marker to it. I am. We got weird streets. Sue so Life be hitting curbs and whatnot. <laughs> I think I am. I am gonna No, black please black. don't. It's gonna look better than what it looks like. Yeah, but let me do it if you're gonna do it. Do you have one? No, but I'll have Indelible? to get the gun the gun paint. You get the gun paint. Ace back? Installing the middle bolt first. Then we put on the outer bolt. 
We had to get new hardware. Home Depot run. Now, we're gonna be just doing this. Watch your hands. Go. She's way off. I know, because I gotta pull. This has to go in. You go. Jacking it up. No, you gotta push it in more first. This lift is crazy. No way. No? Here, I brought the tool for oh the dress tool. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna scratch the hell out of this thing, but who cares? Oh my god, don't ruin it. <laughs> yeah, they're from eBay. I could always buy new ones. The that. They'll be covered in mud in no time. The claim is you need these camera adjustments. Yeah, it's pulling it in for sure. Oh, 100% pulling it in. You got a long ways to go. Actually, it looks pretty good. Maybe that was just angled. Plus, we really can't do this until all four wheels are on the ground. But we just want to get a rough idea yeah, how just... how sick this lift is going to be. Johnny got the front springs out. I don't know if you can see, completely broke off. And I don't know if this is the wide angle is going to make it look even worse or make it not look at all. The whole thing is bowed. This is ridiculous. I did not expect this to sit this high. It's probably not all the way on the ground because the jack stands. So as you can see here, we reversed the lower control arms, put new Integra struts in, new hardware because we had the we had issues with all the bolts. On this side you can see we're currently stuck. We have to saw that bolt out. That's not gonna be fun. Brakes have been bled. Uh, we tightened up and got all the, obviously these aren't in all the way because we still have to do the front suspension. Oh, and there's another oil leak. Uh, but yeah, new calipers are on. Brakes have been bled. The pedal feels incredible now. Like, no joke. I'm like shocked. It's just weird to think that you would actually want wheel gap. All the years I've known you, you try to eliminate wheel gap. I'm just trying to impress you because I know you used to wheel. Yeah, so anyone who does run into the same issue with us and all your bolts are ruined, we got um, 80 millimeter uh, M10 1.25s. And any C's is your friend. And tomorrow, or tomorrow, I'm not going to film this, but Johnny is going to attempt to saw through uh, that other bolt while I'm at work because he's off tomorrow. As you bleed from the head now. Yeah, I got tetanus. Now I'm good. Wow. So yeah, we got the different forks. Put these in. That's it. Actually, let me test this before it's fit. <laughs> uh, I tried it. They it was tight. Look, I've never had an issue with them. On this? Uh oh. Fun fact: I have a spare set of hood risers in my parts. Oh, almost dropped my cam gears. These are actually Chris Bodia's. I never gave them back to him. But Chris, thank you. I still have these, and I think I might put them on here. Look at that. So when you're... When the you're, right position for the win. Look at these. So when you're wheeling, you don't overheat. This car will never overheat after this solid-ass radiator we put exactly, in. Exactly, but you want to keep it cool. We should put a, We should have got silicone hoses, though. Roscoe Racing Euro R adapter plate? What? <laughs> a what? A what? A what? <laughs> I wonder if this thermo switch fits in here. It says Civic. So we could put this in. It's Mishimoto Racing Spec. I bought this for this because we thought we had a, a fan switch issue, but it turned out to be a bad T-stat. Remember on Honda Day, I overheated? Oh. No, you bought that because you had that weird ghost power thing. Your no, would turn no. Like, this is way after that. Let me see this. Yeah, I bought that. I, I bought that from Tri-State and they screwed me. They gave me the wrong part. They said, oh yeah, they're all the same. It'll fit a Prelude. And our ther our fan thermo switch is a little tinier. You can check it if I pop the hood. 15 degrees centigrade. Yep, 80 Celsius. That's nice. For the Kiwis. But yeah, we're gonna figure out if this is compatible with this all model. And uh... Yeah, this is probably going to end it till next Wednesday. So you guys are going to have to wait to see the final product of the lifted Civic, the junkyard lift.
The dash lift. The dash lift. So yeah, right where right where this guy is. Click that. If you want to subscribe to us. Beautifully located in this portion is the Civic playlist. So you can see all of our other videos and us struggling. But stay tuned for more and uh, we are going to continue working on this little project and hopefully get this on the road if I get an inspection sticker. And yeah, all right.